Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week I had a whole different video planned, but then this happened. Bernie Sanders and his mittens took the internet by storm. So I couldn't help but get in on the fun, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you how to add custom shapes to your Tableau plots, even Bernie Sanders on his chair. So let's check it out. So today I'll be using Tableau Public, which is free to download and free to use. One thing just to note is that the visuals that you save with Tableau Public by default are visible to everyone. So you typically don't want to use proprietary information here unless you really know what you're doing. Um, the data I'll show you today are all from Wikipedia, so no problem with that. So I'm going to connect up my Excel file, and this Excel file is quite small. It just has various different years, and these are the years that Bernie Sanders ran for Congress as a Vermont representative. And we also have the percentage of votes that he received during each of those elections. Now let's create a visual. So what I'm going to do here, I really don't have too many options. I'll just put the year in the columns and then percent in rows. Okay, so by default, this is going to give me a nice line plot, and we have switched over to some percent, which is totally fine because we only have one percentage per year. But let's also put some shapes on top of this line. The way I can do that is to take percent and once again put it on the rows. So this will give me two lines, basically the same plot repeated, but what I can do is actually go up to this pill and say that I'd like a dual axis. All right, so now my two lines are basically right on top of each other. And what I can do is actually transform that second line into shapes, so let's do that. I'll click on this second line, and instead of automatic, I'm going to switch over to a shape. Great, so now we have circular dots on each of those percentages as well. But here's what you came for. How can we turn those circles into little Bernies? All right, well, what I wanna do is click on shape, and I'll see lots of different options. I don't have to use circles, I could have triangles, etc. But what I want to do is click on more shapes. And I have even more options here. Here are my default shapes, but I also have access to several other shape options as well. But I still don't have access to Bernie yet. So at this point, it looks like it's not an option to add a custom shape. But what we really need to do is take our shape files and put them into our Tableau repository. So let's do that as well. I'll switch over to my other window. And here I'm looking at the documents of my computer. And what you'll be looking for is a file called My Tableau Repository. Clicking on that, we have various different files here. We're looking for the shapes files. Great, so these files contain all of those different possible shapes that we could display in Tableau. We actually want to create a whole new folder, and let's do that now. I'll call this folder custom, because we're going to put custom shapes into this folder. Right now, custom is empty, but what I can do is put whatever shapes I'd like. So also on my desktop, I have this nice shape. It is Bernie in his chair, and this actually has all of the border removed. You can use whatever image you want at this point. Okay, but all I need to do is take that file and drag it into my brand new custom folder. Now going back over to Tableau, if I check that drop down menu again, it looks like nothing has changed. So what I have to do is click this button right here, reload shapes. All right, let's try it again. What I should see show up is this brand new folder called custom that I just created. So let's click on that. And in custom, we actually have this little tiny Bernie shape that we can use as our shapes. All right. Okay, so if this happens to you, it looks like nothing happened, but the Bernies are there. What we actually need to do now is just increase their size. So we'll click on size and just increase that. All right, there he is. There's Bernie in his chair, one for every single time he ran for election as a Vermont representative. One final thing, um, you'll notice right now that the Bernies are a little offset of the line. What we actually need to do is synchronize these two axes. So let's do that. If I right click on this, I should have this option, synchronize axis, and that's exactly what I want. And there we go. Now all the little Bernie chairs are on the same percentages as the line. 
And at this point, you can do as much styling as you'd like. I'll do a little bit and get right back to you. Okay, so I added a title. I made sure that my axis, my y-axis went from 0 to 100 since that's the bounds for percentages. And I also changed my x ticks to only be one for every two years since Vermont only has congressional races every other year. And one final thing I did, since I don't really need the second axis, it was just so that I could add the shapes. I actually deleted out all the tick marks and the labels from the second axis since the shapes and the lines all follow the same axis. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to add custom shapes to your Tableau plots. And by the way, it doesn't just have to be one shape. You could actually add many different shapes if you include multiple files within your shapes folder. So for example, in this Tableau plot where I included a different shape file for each different planet. I'll include links to both of those dashboards in the description bar below. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.